Hey gang. Well, I got something a little, I think, unusual today. Um, in my travels on eBay, I uh, came across this uh, tubular axial rim mortise cylinder by our friends at Ilco. Um, I'm sure we've all seen uh, the tubular sort of cam type things um, with the these keys. Um, now you've seen this kind probably on arcade machines, things like that. They also make them with, that are uh, electronic switches. Um, you may see that kind. Maybe I'll pick one of these in a bit. Um, this one is a, a rim cylinder though, so you can see it's designed to go in a door just like any your quick set or in your favorite um, rim cylinders. So I was going to attempt to pick it. I haven't even touched this thing yet other than uh, with the keys. So just to show you it does work, function with the, with the key. Here we are. It spins around. Okay. Make sure that's nice and tight. Alright, so what I have here is your Southord um, tubular lockpick, the seven pin version. I've zeroed the feelers. Um, and they talk about the tension on these things. Um, it really depends on the lock and I'm about to find out so you get to see my trial and error. But I find that when it's just barely finger tight, this little groove here, um, finger groove lines up with that Allen screw. So I typically will go just a little bit further and then kind of use that as an index as I'm going. So what we do is we find the top, which is where the screw is. Um, we stick it in here and that looks horrible on TV. So we'll turn it this way. And then what we do is we press in lightly and just kind of jiggle. And as we jiggle, the tool essentially does a self-impressioning of the lock. Um, now, depending on the how the uh, how good a job I did on the tension, there we are. It'll open, um, and well, it's open one notch, but <laughs> it got me. So let's see if we can fix it. So what I'm doing is just sort of pressing all these in just a little bit, and see if I can get it to come on back. If not, I may have to just go again. At any rate, I got it one notch. <laughs> so now it won't work with the key. Well, let's just start again. Um, let me zero this thing back out. So you just press it down. You can't see what I'm doing. but So, as I said, the tension matters. What I would have normally done is locked this thing down. So what I'm going to do is go a little bit further than I did before on the tension. Find the top. Line it up with the notch on the lock and we're just sort of doing a rocking motion in and out light pressure on the pins um, and if everybody cooperates it will hopefully open again for me okay I can fit there now I've got it just so it turned okay so the all of the little feelers are in just the right spot, so what I'm going to do is crank the hell out of this thing so it doesn't move. And then put it back in and just show you it hopefully still working. Okay, so there it goes, and I can spin it, spin it around like that. That's all there is to it. Um, these little tools are, I don't, I don't know if it's binding on something or what. There it is. It's not perfect. These little tools are, I don't know, we got a pair of them for hundred something dollars off of uh, Southward's website. Very good quality. Um, much better than those Chinese ones. Um, one of the cool things is, I, oh, let's see if I can get a close-up view of this thing. If you can see the little notches there, but you can actually take a gauge and read off the bidding, and then you could make your own key from that. So anyhow, that's kind of a neat feature. If you have done like I've done and bought some of these online and then come with keys. So anyway, I've never seen one in this form factor before, but uh, Ilco um, Axial Rim Mortise Cylinder. Um, Multi-pin picked, we'll say, with one of these cool tools. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe or plus one if you like the video and uh, keep it legal. Cheers. Bye-bye.